My name is David, and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Nova Systems. Thanks for watching. So, how do we fill in our custom properties quickly? Well, one way is to have a template set up with the properties already entered, so all we need to do is fill in the details. But this relies on the user remembering to click on that and go and enter everything, and having to type in the finish according to the company specification correctly every time. So we can make this quicker still. Over on the right hand side we have the custom properties tab. At the moment I don't have a custom properties tab built, but I can create one very quickly. We have a number of group boxes, which can be titles if we want. And we can drag in different entities and fill them in. We can also link these to particular properties that we want it to be when it uh, arrives in our properties tab so that it links up with our drawing sheets. We can also drag in list boxes. For example, I can call this one finish. And this allows us to define our lists. We can either type in everything in here or we can select it from a text or Excel, or Excel file or an access database. This means that the options are already given to the user and they're going to always look the same. We can also have numbers, checkboxes and radio buttons. A nice thing about checkbox is it allows us to define what's going to appear or disappear based on the value. So for example, when it's fabricated we can say we want something to appear. So if I bring in another text box, then under, under fabricated I can say if fabricated is ticked, this box will actually be visible. If it's unticked, it won't be visible. We then need to save this into the same location as our custom properties files. Uh, this can be found via tools, options, file locations, custom property files. And they save as a PRP file. So for example, I'm going to save this now into this location. If I come back and refresh, we can now see my table. When I enter the values, including picking from my drop-down list and hit apply, everything is entered into my custom properties. Now what we're going to do is very quickly look at one that I've, loaded, I've created before. Which is a bit more complex than the one we very quickly set up there. I can fill in part number, description, document and revision. Select my finish from a pre-defined pre, uh, list. And if I choose it's fabricated, then the entries under Metal Shop will be available. If it's not fabricated, they'll vanish and the entries under Purchasing will be available instead. This enables us to control what properties people are entering against a particular part. Now we can also take this one stage further. Once we have a custom property tab built up, when we go to an assembly, we can multi-select our components, come back to our custom property tab, and all of these items will be listed in my selection box. So when I enter a property, it will be entered against all of them. This would enable us to have a property tab which is just for part details potentially, and a custom property tab that's available for project details to be used at an assembly level to save time of filling them in each time. So, we can speed up property entry by 1. Creating a template that's got the properties in as the first level, 2. Creating custom property tabs for part properties, and 3. And using those custom property tabs at an assembly level to enter properties against multiple files all at once. Thank you very much for watching.